I am Wendy Kelly, and I kind of am a jack of all trades, so to speak. I'm a speaker, a motivational speaker. I work with various um, organizations on branding, and most importantly, on communication. Um, my platform is You Can't Yell at the Deaf Girl. Um, probably tell I'm deaf and um, kind of my sarcastic way of letting people know that yelling is not a great form of communication because nobody listens to you anyways. <laughs> Prior to the program, I was struggling with a lot of self, um, lack of self-belief and um, trusting my instincts. It was introduced to the program by a mutual friend of ours. Uh, I read the book giants and smalls and knew and it resonated and i knew that it was something that could support me on my terms in you know, my my language um i'm not one who likes to have a lot of rhetoric and big words thrown at me even though i use them myself but um i knew it would be something that i could relate to personally um intellectually, emotionally, mentally, all of it. Biggest takeaway for me was trusting the process, understanding that if there is a process and it's there for a reason, rushing, rushing things doesn't always work. Um, getting mad doesn't always work. Getting mad doesn't work at all, actually. Um, and the biggest takeaway for me, which is really just to slow down, trust my gut, trust the process, and stop forcing the issue. Stop forcing what I wanted and let it flow. That I knew more than I thought I did, and I didn't give myself enough credit as far as my knowing. Um, that is one thing with this program. You discover that you do know a lot of it, but because of how we're trained and how we're brought up and how we're schooled, uh, sometimes we forget our own knowing and our own value. And um, that was huge for me. And just remembering that I do know, I do know, and I don't have to be told all the time. I just need to trust it. Oh gosh, um, the money started flowing for one, um, a little bit better than it was before. Not, not to the levels that I'm still working on creating, but it's coming. Um, what else changed was uh, kind of just going with, instead of trying to put an intellectual or an educational background to everything that I do teach in my own consulting, and just going with my inner knowing and sharing my personal experiences of what I am consulting and training on as far as the, you know, the inclusion and the communication and all of those things, and that my story matters, that um, understanding that my story can be someone else's survival guide in a big way on a variety of levels has shifted my perspective a bit in being less money driven and more um, mindfulness driven. Okay. Nick is genuine, he's authentic, um, easy on the eyes. Um, <laughs> he is, he cares. And even when he is so busy, Nick knows that he, Nick reaches out when you know that he's swamped in he seemed to know when to reach out and um, the advice, the wisdom, the direction that he provides are so relevant to today, to right now. It's not, it's not speaking in terms of, well, you just need to, you know, choose in. It's like, you need to choose you. And he put it well and he gets, he, he's honest. And that's a beautiful thing. Cause when you can be honest and compassionate at the same time and walk away feeling like you just had the best conversation ever, even when it, you got scolded, that's pretty awesome.